I've been messing around with my B-Link X2 for the past couple of days. Um, and I know I did mention in the review that it tends to have some um, higher temperatures when running under stress, uh, specifically when it's under, um, I've noticed 70 to 100% CPU utilization. It can reach up to uh, mid to upper 90s in Celsius um, with the stock enclosure. And as you can see in my re video review, the heat sink is not very adequate inside it's literally just a hunk of metal so I mentioned I was considering uh, a little modification so you can see here this is uh, what my modification um, ended up as I basically cut a hole I took it apart first and took out you can see the back of it off. So I took out the um, uh, main board there just to so I had access to just the upper plastic portion of the enclosure and I started out by drilling a hole right there in the uh, center and then used a uh, handheld uh, little saw to saw out a slot for this uh, aluminum heatsink you see. So the heatsink is actually resting on, let me zoom this out, is resting on the original metal plate which you can see behind it. Um, the only thing I had on hand was a little uh, thermal pad about the size of a quarter so that's currently what is in between the um, piece of metal and the aluminum heat sink um, I also noted that that piece of metal is not aluminum it's way too heavy to be aluminum I'm not sure what it is but definitely not aluminum nor copper um, so it's not probably that good at dissipating heat um, so in between the piece of metal and the aluminum there's a thermal pad and then in between the CPU and the um, metal piece is another another thermal pad so I'm hoping to uh, eventually get um, some thermal paste I left it up at school I don't have it with me right now and I would like to coat a thin layer of thermal paste in between this um, aluminum heat sink you see and the metal plate below it just to get um, a very uh, thorough um, contact between between the metal plate and the aluminum heat sink. So I'm going to go ahead and boot it up and show you some benchmarks and temperatures you should see uh, when running it under high stress. The box has been running for about 10-15 minutes now to uh, let it fully warm up. It's under 100% stress on the CPU uh, running uh, Boink or Boink or however you want to pronounce it and we're currently seeing uh, temperatures of around low 80s um, uh, Celsius uh, which has dropped down from about high 90s Celsius um, my room is pretty hot right now it's probably about um, upper 70s Fahrenheit maybe low 80s Fahrenheit in my room I'll just put that in perspective um, and I also noticed if I had like a fan on in the room just to circulate the air a bit uh, it will drop this an additional um, three or four uh, degrees Celsius. So as you can see the inclusion of this heat sink provided around a 15 degree Celsius drop in CPU temperatures. Um, I also noticed just by having this um, open piece here without this external heat sink I was achieving temperatures in the um, right around the 90 degrees Celsius mark uh, just by having um, this opening on the top without the aluminum heat sink just so that piece of metal down there got some more airflow so that's um that's an option you can drill some holes if you don't feel like putting a, a large heat sink on it this heat sink I believe is 40 millimeters by 40 millimeters by 10 millimeters uh, in height um, like I said I currently only have a little thermal pad in between it so I'm hoping to get some thermal paste in the next uh, week or so and give it a nice uh, thin coating so we can get full surface contact between that metal plate you see down below and the aluminum heat sink for some better heat dissipation. Um, but that pretty much concludes the uh, video on my uh, modification for the B-Link X2. Feel free to post if you have any questions and uh, once I do get some of that thermal paste um, I'm just going to put it on there. I'm not going to make a new video, so I'll just apply it and then post the results in the description of this video or have one of those little um, pop-up pop up things come on the uh, 
YouTube video right around this point in time. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me know if you have any questions, and thank you for watching.